Namaste. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Lisa Yoga Angel. I'm Lisa, and welcome to the third edition of Sprinkles of Spirit. So it's my newsletter, and I decided to make it a little vlog Sunday chit chat. So grab your coffee, your tea, your wine, um, you know, whatever, and we'll have a little chit chat today about. Actually, let me put this down here so I don't spill it. Something that a uh, subject I had a conversation with family member recently, and I just was like, you know what? Let me do a quick talk about what is an empath and how can yoga help me if I am one? So, so when you first hear of the word empath, a lot of people think it's the same as empathy, which it's not. So, and I'm gonna read to you the description from Dr. Judith, Judith Orloff's book, The Empath's Survival Guide, which if you don't have this book, um, I highly suggest it if you're an empath. I'm actually rereading it and it's really helpful. So here is the best, easy, quickest way to understand. So when you have empathy for another, your heart goes out to another person, right? You, you're, you feel for them, right? if they're in joy or pain, right? Your heart goes out to them. Well, an empath, it, it goes much further. We literally feel the other person's emotion, um, emotions, energy, and physical symptoms in our own body. So it goes much more, you know, way deeper than just having empathy for others. An empath is super sensitive and feels what another person is, is feeling. I can walk into a room and I know I can read energy like that. I know when someone is angry, I know when someone's nervous, I know when they're sad, I know when they're depressed, I know when they're kind of pretending to be okay and they're really not. Now, a lot of us, right, you may say, well, I can do that too, does that mean I'm an empath? But I'm also feeling, you know, what they're feeling, you know, usually I'll feel it in my gut, in my stomach right away, you know, ever since I was little, um, you know, and you can literally come home, uh, you know, from a day, maybe at work or um, in a crowd and just feel like your energy is whew, like completely drained. You're exhausted. And that's because an empath you know, has internalized physical and emotional uh, symptoms of other people. They've absorbed it all and it's very draining. It, it is very draining. So I'm gonna read to you a little bit more from her book. Um, so empaths have an extremely reactive neurological system. So we don't have the same filters, right? That everybody has, right? Other people, you know, can block out stim stimulation, right? Um, and we just basically can't. So we absorb into our own bodies, both the positive and stressful energies around us. So how can yoga help you if you're an empath? But first, let's ask a few questions. I know you're sitting here going, well, am I one? So there's two types of, of an empath. If you didn't know, there's uh, the physical, empath or an emotional empath. So I'm going to read to you, read to you some of the questions you can ask yourself um, that will help you understand. And, and if, you know, most of you, if you're following me I, or, your, or your student of mine, I already know you're a sensitive being and, and I'm going to say you probably are an empath. So, okay. So, are you a physical empath? Here's a few questions and I'm gonna watch the time. I don't like my videos to get too long. I want you to stay with me. Okay, have I ever sat next to someone in pain and started to feel pain too? Do I get physically ill in crowds? Have I been called a hypochondriac but know my symptoms are real? Do I react to other people's stress by developing a physical symptom in my own body? Do I get energized by some people and depleted by others, right? Energy vampires, right? Do I frequently go to doctors without getting treatments that help? Am I chronically fatigued or do I have mysterious 
or unexplained ailments? Do I often feel exhausted by crowds preferring to stay home? I love staying home. Is my body sensitive to sugar, alcohol, and processed foods? Okay, so that's the physical. Are you an emotional empath? Ask yourself the following questions. Okay, do I pick up other people's emotions such as anxiety, anger, and frustration? Do I get an emotional hangover after an argument or conflict, right? When you, when you have had an argument or you're fighting with someone, do you feel just like you're hungover for three days? Do I feel depressed or anxious in crowds? Do I wanna fix people and take away their stress? Can I intuit other people's feelings even when they are unexpressed, right? So that's having that intuition, kind of reading, reading people. Is it hard to distinguish other people's emotions from my own, right? So sometimes maybe you're feeling sad or stressed out, but you're like, what the hell? What is, you know, I had a great week. Why am I feeling like this? You're probably picking up other people's energy that you've been around and they're draining you. Do I care so much about others that I neglect my own needs? Do I overeat to cope with difficult people or emotional stress? Are you an emotional eater? Do I experience mood swings from sugar, carbohydrates, and other specific foods? So basically, how to assess this, if you had one to two yeses in either category, and in, that indicates you are partially that type of empath, three to four yeses indicate that you are moderately that type of empath, five or more yeses indicate you are definitely that type of empaths. So, you know, it's so interesting when you read about this and, and you, things will start to kind of like make sense. Like maybe, you know, when you were little, you know, you were like, what the hell was I always so freaking out about? You know, you understand this as, as you learn about it as you get older and then things from your past or your childhood t totally make sense. And you're like, oh, okay. You know, I wasn't crazy. <laughs> You know, it wasn't crazy. It's, just, it's a sensitivity and it's actually really a blessing because you kind of have an x-ray vision into other people's pain, right? Or suffering or happiness or joy. And then you're able to help them, right? Or be a friend to them. Or you learn the tips and tools to protect and block um, that type of energy and, and clear your energy. I can... I will share those tools with you actually in my next newsletter. So I'm gonna leave a link below for you to sign up if you haven't already. So how can yoga help an empath? Okay, so yoga and meditation are crucial because you want to calm the nervous system. You wanna calm the nervous system, release physical, mental, emotional stress from all of our bodies, right? Because if you live a stagnant lifestyle, all that energy that you absorb and you're sensitive to, it's, it's gonna be stagnated, stuck in the body, and you will manifest illness in one form or another. So it's crucial that you move your body, right? If it's not yoga, then definitely some kind of exercise you wanna be doing, I'm gonna say every day, pretty much. You need to move every day to clear all this out. And meditation is gonna help you get in tune with your highest self and you will have awareness, right? To know what's yours and what's not, what's not yours, right? You'll know, oh, I feel drained today because I was around an energetic vampire. <laughs> I was around somebody who just sucked the life out of the room. You're gonna go home and feel awful, exhausted, drained, maybe sad, maybe depressed, but you'll know, okay, this is not my crap and let me do my tools. Let me use one of my tools, right? To help me clear this out. And I will share those with you. So it's something to ask yourself um, about, investigate, do some self inquiry. And our yoga practice can help us do this. We kind of peel off the layers, right? Of our bodies, our physical body, emotional body, um, what yoga does also is, is releases all these old stories, stagnant energy that's been stuck. That's why um, 
You know, you'll hear a lot of yoga teachers say, you may feel um, in, a, in an emotional outburst in during class. And it could take, you know, a long time for that to happen, but I never, I didn't really believe it until it happens. You know, sometimes you'll be like, oh my God, I'm, I wanna freaking cry right now. I have no idea what's going on. You're on your mat. You had an awesome practice and all of a sudden you feel a well of, of emotion come up. This is, this is, this is stuff that needs to be cleared. So, especially for an empath, you know, you could be, you could have stored stuff that just wasn't yours for years. So I hope this makes sense and I hope you will take the time to kind of do some self inquiry and ask yourself, you know, oh, okay, is this something new I can learn about? And I will share with you some more um, tools that help me uh, clear my energy as an empath. And um, I look forward to sharing more of that with you. So sign up for Sprinkles of Spirit. Head over to lisayogaangel.com. You can do it that way. And I'm going to leave a link right below. I watched the time. I kept it short and sweet. So cheers to you. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for being a part of this new community, my new YouTube channel. I'm having so much fun doing this and building a community of beautiful people um, who are on the path, who are on the path to be your highest self and you will be able to live your best life now. So that's awesome. So thank you for being here and I will see you here next time. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.